It's 2019 and you're in the European Union. It was a charging deck and everything is snipped off. Everything. Oh, look at that. All, all the I, iPhone 5 it says, Look at that. but it's compatible with others. Yeah, what the f We've made it to Bologna and we've skipped all meals and our schedule has gone haywire, but we got some mozzarella and some meat balls. Like a colorful Soviet Union. We found this very Dries Caritomenos cafe. Made it to the Airbnb here in Florence. Pretty nice, pretty spacious. Whole place is decorated with Brazilian Jiu Jitsu art. And um, got some free tap water for the day. I want you to check out what's gonna happen over here. Thank you, magic free coffee machine. Everybody dance when you dance when you wanna dance. Everybody. When is at the dance, you will get in a trance. Everybody. Looks like there's gonna be a concert pretty soon. Right outside this lovely block of a hotel and a nice little restaurant up there. There we have Fotini. She's taking some Instagram photos. Random stranger. Uh, oh yeah, also check that out. It's like a. Fane Romani kind of thing going on there. Zoom in, you can see a little heroin. Got this juice, Dimi DC bro, with some strawberry and bananas. Has 12 carbs. Hell yeah. Very, very fucking crowded. Worse than Santorini, from what I remember. You know, I had a friend who was obsessed about chess. His whole room was covered in chess art. His bed sheets, his, uh, his curtains, everything was just chess. And uh, eventually he turned out to be this kid who brought a knife to school and threatened to kill people. What the f- So I'm sure he would love the store and, you know, he would love this store. Very fucked up. <laughs> So now let's go home. First day in Italy and I approve Florence. Do you want to explain what you just did and why? No beans in Florence. Like, you have a trash, you eat it. Good morning from Tuscany. We already made our coffee for the day. Well, for the next two hours, let's be real here. So today we're gonna go to that bulging cathedral that defines the skyline of Florence. We're gonna go to Ofizza Museum, right? Mm -hmm. That, which is really nice and expansive. And I think the, the other museum, which has large statues, are there. 
We're gonna go to this plaza called Piti. It's a really cool thing called George's statue where well, his left and right arm are not aligned. One's heavier so it could balance gravity. David's so. statue. <laughs> okay, so it's David's statue, not George, sorry. <laughs> we ran into a really beautiful but simple facade of a church, as you can see there. But if you'd like to sit down, maybe call your mother or eat something, screw you because you can't sit there. <laughs> the cathedral finally through this lovely parking lot goodbye it's, it's like it's eaten by its own self so we saw a sign that says 120 for a cappuccino and we got ourselves some very limited amount of cappuccino Mm -hmm. And we got some uh, sandwiches, spicy salami. Okay. Have a little peek now. Mm -hmm. Hey you. I think this is one of the most beautiful squares we've seen in the forest. Mm -hmm. To eat and eat Ali. Eat Ali. Bame. Hello. So I don't know if you all know what tiramisu is. For the people who don't know, it's like an Italian delight. It has a, a cookie thingy soaked in uh, coffee, and then it has some nice cream with cocoa powder. It's really tasty. <laughs> It was my birthday here and I was really happy to find an awesome bohemian type of bar to chill at the end of the day. People were both inside or out on the curb as you can see, either playing cards or singing, dressed in alternative clothing and chain smoking. The best part about this place is that they had this one euro glass of red wine, which we abused until the morning hours. We approached a lot of people that night who were really friendly and down to earth. I remember this one girl from Spain and guy from the north who owned a small scale leather business. The bar is called The Box and it'd be definitely a great place to return next year for my birthday. So we're here in Pisa for one reason and one reason only. To make it to that damn tower. And we've made the smart decision not to do any research beforehand and locate the tower. We just have faith in our innate abilities. In our... Let's follow the people, right? Like those people. And we have faith in people. Opa. Opa. This guy is dancing. As you can see, it's a very uh, family friendly place. In it? Yeah! Very family friendly. I need to get this in the vlog done. We're still beaten up by what happened yesterday and it kind of influenced us to make a list of the do's and don'ts while you're here in Italy. It's about ice cream. Man, don't buy ice cream from the central Florence. We paid for like a scoop, fucking $6.50 yeah, per it, person. It was, I wanted to trade out some ice cream, you know, 
and it was 13 it ended up being a total of 13 euros 13 so like me wanting to buy dinner was impossible because of the ice cream and it was not good ice cream either like it was okay ice cream but not 650 ice cream like i didn't find any diamond ring inside you know and this woman in the background looks very angry i don't know what it says but she's pissed off holy holy hell pissed off I'm not saying I'm disappointed. It's just a little smaller than I was expecting. But it's so nice. Like, look at it. You know, so it is cool. leaning, but the top is also leaning the opposite direction. Yeah, it has a balance. It's kind of returning there. to gravity. So nice. I don't think you can see it from here. I'm so excited. It's really nice though with the pillars. Yeah. I don't think so. So guys, this was our bedroom view. During the day, students walked up and down, and junkies dragged around. Friday and Saturday night was like trying to take a nap in the middle of a concert. We were above all the bars. This one place had red hot chili peppers the whole night. Italian beer is pretty legit though. Big bra moment if you ask me. So we woke up here and the plan was to climb the entire Bologna Tower. And these were leaning as well. Everything leads in Italy. Walking up these stairs was pretty crazy. I was feeling pretty challenged and pretty optimistic the first 50 stairs and uh, we made it. It wasn't that bad. But if you're afraid of heights and you doubt the sturdiness of the stairs, good luck. So here we are. We're walking up the Bologna Tower. The Leaning Towers of Bologna. The Leaning Towers of Bologna. What's wrong with my face? There we go. And uh, it's apparently 93 meters. I don't know how I missed it, but that's where all the coffee beans are. <laughs> 